I see. Have you just not heard that 69 God is represented? How do you taste someone? Oh my God. Is the internet even. How did you not know? Like, here's the thing. <laughs> the way that I took that line is like, if we're going to talk about it, let's talk about it. Because the way, like, when I listen to that line, it, it feels like a the internet is implicating this line as opposed to, like, that's actually what the intention was. Unless I've heard something directly from him. You know what I'm saying? Is there something where, like, he's confirmed that? Because if not, to me, listening to that line, like, he has 69 God, like, it doesn't feel like it's supposed to be... You know what I'm trying to say? It feel, that feels like a the internet pulled that theory out as opposed to, like, oh, it was just supposed to be a sex joke thing. You know what I'm trying to say? I get what you mean, but it's, like, the direct intention isn't, like voice directly enough for it to really feel that way you know what i mean like but yeah it, it, that just feels like an internet theory to me. like when someone some person said oh don't you know a 16 eyeing god that's supposed to be the line and it's like guys that's stretching so fucking hard like i'm, I'm come on now you know what i mean it's like come on like Look, y'all y'all are a bunch of internet random people who can come up with whatever theory that you want, all right? I, I'm the internet person who actually has to be accountable for coming up with my theory, okay? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, but the thing about it is, it's like, it's a cool, like, idea, you know what I mean? Like, as a, like, you know, I'm not saying, like, oh, it's not a fun extra thing that can, you know, be an extra thing inside there, but it just feels like, like, for that to be assumed that that was the intention feels, like, just feels a little genius.com-y to me, you know what I mean? Who is he doing 69? Oh, yeah, no, I get that in terms of who is he doing 69. But just the title in and of itself, that, that's the thing that I like to look at. Like, what is the actual text saying? And, like, even if I'm for or against someone, it, like, if the text isn't directly, like, saying the thing, then it's like, well, I don't know if I should give that credence. It was the same thing, like, what was it? People were also saying the, um, because my point when I was talking about the, um, what was it? Uh, the point of the video where I said, like, when shit got really ugly, when shit got, like, <laughs> uh, super ugly, uh, incidentally enough, um, was where Drake dropped the Family Matters track, which is why Kendrick immediately responded with uh, the track that he responded with, the uh, 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 Meet the Grams joint, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was the, oh, you're taking it there, I'm taking it further, you know? Like, I wanted the video to be about, like, people notice when the fucking Meet the Grams shit drops, you know what I'm saying? And it's, like, way more intense than anything that was said before. And then when you look in as to, like, the lyrics and what they're, act, like, materially saying, it's Drake saying, well, you brought up my son, so it's okay for me, so now I'm gonna go for this, you know? So that's the kind of thing that I wanted to, like, have the conversation about. Because the line is, I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. That was the, the line in that first push-ups uh, joint. And because people said, like, that was the line that was, like, the first one that, like, went low. However, my thing about that lyric is that it's like, like, it's a subliminal that doesn't have enough guts to actually actively say anything. You get what I'm trying to say? Because it's like, you know, it's not like you could see that line and think, oh, that must be about how it's, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar abusing his wife. Like, did anyone even know who Whitney was when that track was first released? You know what I'm saying? It was like that sort of thing where it's like a... Yeah, if you read it to the subliminal that, like, he was trying to do it, sure, you could say it as that, but it's such a crafted with plausible deniability sort of line where it's like, well, I didn't technically say anything because it's like, you know, think about what the line is actually saying. Like, I'd be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Like, okay, you could take that as being a line about how uh, uh, Whit Whitney needs bodyguards to protect her from Kendrick Lamar. Or you could say it's a line about how she's having a, an affair with the bodyguard. But it's like, it's not directly enough and not actually a directly accusatory in any direct way where it's like, it's a it's a subliminal. I mean, and we all know Kendrick, like, you know, called that shit out. It's like, don't fucking sneak this. If you, you do that shit, it's going to be direct. But that's that shit he's been doing for a long time, you know what I mean? Trying to throw rocks to hide his hand, you know? So my thing is, like, even if it is subliminal, like, it's not ballsy enough to make a point in the same way that when Kendrick Lamar says his, you don't know nothing about that. Like, that's a... I just said something. I didn't say something, but you know I said something. You know what I actually said. And it do, it's not no, well, you have to imply the inference of the implication of knowing already. But the, the, the. No, it's like, no, you know what the fuck that meant. You know what I mean? Like, but like, you know, I'm just one person. I, I'm cool with people having their theories and stuff like that. But that, that's just how I felt. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Look, at the end of the day, I'm just glad we're talking about lyrics. Okay? Like, I'm so used to people being like, oh my God, stop talking about the lyrics that are the things that someone's actually saying in the song, man. Going over eight songs for a beef, you know what I'm saying? To make sure I got that shit right, you know what I mean? Like, at least as far as, like, 
the narrative unraveling of how, who responded to what and whatnot, you know what I mean? And what line mattered and, you know, which actually hit, you know, that's the shit that, you know, is interesting to me in the first place, you know what I'm saying? This bringing up Whitney is crazy. Let my ass up. That is already making it personal, though. He did the same thing with Pusha and Virginia Williams. Like, I get what you're saying in terms of that, but like I said, it's such a, like, in fact, I, honestly, hey, maybe this uh, is less to Drake's credit because it's like, it's honestly, like, gives you even less in your credit. It's like this. So you were willing to go up uh, and, throw, and be even more pussy about it, like throwing rocks to hide your hand because you did want to, like, throw in a joke out there. But, Drake, you were the one that was angry and said, you made it about family, so now I get to go at you. So now that actually kind of, like, pushes things even further against Drake. <laughs> it's like, hey, wait a minute. You're the one who said, don't go too low or else I get to do this now. But you, you threw out the name first, you know? And like I said, not even in a bold way of I'm making a claim like, oh, you go, she's going to need some bodyguards, Kendrick, like Whitney, wink. You know what I mean? It's just a line that's just, like, slipshottedly said enough to not really say that he's actually, you know, holding Kendrick accountable for anything. Wait, is that you saying that if you ever made an insult, you will not sneak this? I'm not saying that. I'm saying if I do make my sneak dish... It's going to be the type of shit that it actually is saying something at you. Just you would not notice if it's not directly. You know what I'm saying? Like, who said I'd be with some bodyguards like Whitney? You have to make so many implications on implications of like, oh, he's talking about having a bodyguard because, and then even then it's still not. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a landmine. It's definitely could be considered something, but it's not. It's not actually saying anything. It's not making, and it's not impugning Kendrick's character directly. It's just. Uh, if you know, you know, but even then, it's not really directly saying, you know what I mean? It's just like, come on, if you're going to catch flight, it's, it's got to be direct, you know what I'm saying? At least enough in a way where it's actively making an accusation, you know? Not in a way where you could plausibly deny, oh, that's not even what I meant. Well, I was just making the bodyguard reference. What, what? You know what I mean? Like, nah, no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, now, 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 I will say this, though, okay? Uh, Trey Carter, he said, all he said was, let it ring on you, and Pusha T took it personal. I do have to say this, though. <laughs> you know, he said, I'll let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. First of all, that was not that good, that was not good, that good of a line, okay? It was, I'll let it ring on you like Virginia Williams, get it? Because you're married to her, and I just said her name, this was like, that, it was just a, like, oh, because you married her, a ring on her, and I said her name. It's like, dude, that wasn't even worth, you didn't even say anything worth being, like, worth bringing up the name in the first place. And then, secondly, I got to look at Pusha T and just be like, was that really that bad of a lie? <laughs> like, you know, it's not like he said anything. It's not like he was like, oh, your wife's cheating on you or anything like that. It was just like, ah, I just mentioned the name. It was like, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> you know? Trey Carter said facts. That's a great point. I appreciate it. And then... Billo says, I even think some of the analysis of the music video is kind of a reach. Like, the thing about Whitney wearing a wife beater, like, what is her wearing that even supposed to mean? I could get that in the sense of trying to be ironic, like, oh, you think he's a wife beater? <laughs> but she's wearing a wife beater. <laughs> like, I could see that as being a needly thing, but it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's so subtle that it's like, that's the type of thing, like, I don't think you get points for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a nice little background thing as a sort of, oh, that. But it's not a, <clears throat> it's not a jab, you know what I'm trying to say?